Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, at various places on the internet. It's 1.25 p.m. according to the computer clock on Saturday, June 8, 2013. And welcome to another episode of Retail Horror Stories. And, um, this one is kind of related uh, to the first episode, which dealt with a customer's first impressions. Um... This yeah, this is kind of related because uh, how do I put this? Uh, I don't like strangers asking me how I am. Okay, I, I think it's it's uh, disingenuous and it's a personal intrusion. And personally, I would never. Uh, dream of asking someone that I didn't know how they are. Because, I mean, like, if you're going through a checkout and you ask the cashier how they're doing or something like that, I mean, you don't know what kind of day that they've had. I mean, you know, maybe their pet died or, or maybe they're dealing with, you know, something at home or whatever. And the last thing that they'll want to hear is, Hey, how are you doing today? But that's what I get. It's like, how are you today? Hey, what's going on? I, I, I hate it. I really, truly hate it. Okay? And a lot of people don't even care how you are. They use it as a greeting. Okay? They don't say hello. They're just like, how are you? Or, what's going on? Or, you know, something like that. Um, how are you doing? So, they, they don't, it's like they don't even care. It's just an automatic thing for them. But sometimes, if you don't answer, or if, or if I, um, sometimes give a vague answer, like, mm-hmm, like, like you know, like a non-answer. I'm just like, mm -hmm. sometimes they'll be like, well, "How are you?" I asked you how you are. I know he did, and if I thought it was any of your business, I would tell you. But it's not. Okay. So uh, that that's my personal feeling. I feel that. How are you from someone that I don't know or from someone that I barely know? It's just, it's an intrusion, okay? I, it's a personal question and I don't want people asking me that. Sometimes they'll, uh, they'll, they'll talk about like, uh, it, like, at the store that I currently work at, up until recently, uh, th there, there was a rotisserie chicken display, a hot rotisserie chicken display near one of the registers. And whenever I would be assigned to that register, some smart aleck customer would inevitably ask, Mmm, that chicken smells good, huh? It must torture you to be working here by that chicken all day, huh? Or how do you, how can you stay to work here all day with it being hot like that? It's called being freaking used to it and having self-control, okay? It's like the chicken does not make me hungry. And if it's hot, then... Okay, well, I deal with that. I don't even think about it until they bring it up. I, I have this one guy, some some guy in a cowboy hat or something. I'll, I'll, I'll call him Tex, okay? He was like, uh, he got you in a hot spot, huh? I didn't answer. I, I don't like to answer stuff like that. He's like, Guess you were told to not interact with the customers, huh? I was like, I, I, I just had with him. I was like, 
No, but I just don't like answering the same freaking questions over and over again for a thousand times. And he's like, Oh, you think I'm stupid, huh? I'm like, Uh, no. Yes, but I said no. <laughs> so he was like, Oh, okay. Well, I wouldn't have hired you. I had another situation. A guy came through my lane. He was he was with some woman. Okay, it was a couple, I guess. He was talking. I don't know what the context for this was, but he's like, "Yeah, uh, perfectly fine. Go bombing uh, Israel, and now Cam is gonna come over and bomb Chicago and see how we like it." I'm thinking, what the. But you know what? I, I thought he was talking to the woman that was with him. But then he was like, Is that, Isn't that right? That's when I realized he was talking to me. I remained completely silent. I just ignored him. He, he got so irritated. And finally... Okay, he snatched the receipt out of my hand without word. Okay, he goes over to his service desk. And apparently, he raised such a fuss, he even talked to the store manager and quoted what he had told me at the register. And from what I learned later on, uh, apparently the store manager's response was, yeah, well, if you came through my lane and you said stuff like that, I probably wouldn't talk to you either. But anyway, I didn't learn that until later, but apparently uh, they came over, they shut off my light, they took me to a, a, a back office um, back in my receiving. And they said they were trying to defuse the situation. They were trying to convince the guy that they had taken me off the register. Because apparently he had raised such a big fuss about this. Eventually, uh, they let me go back up. I just had to sit back there for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. But yeah, you get all kinds of weird nut jobs um, in retail. I mean, I, I never had a customer like that before. And I hope I never will again. Um... But yeah, uh, customers try to get your personal opinions on things. They they try to be intrusive and you know talk about things. One guy I had this uh, one guy in a previous job in electronics. Okay, I finished the transaction. Everything was fine. Give him his receipt. He starts walking away. He turns around. He comes back. And he's like, "Dirty joke. I want to tell you." And he proceeds to tell me some. Dirty joke. I forget even what it was. But what is it about customers that think that they can just come through a lane and tell a cashier absolutely anything? Anything. Seriously. They'll just say anything. And you know why? I think, well, I hope this is the reason. It's because they know that they've got a captive audience. They know that the cashier or any other employee can't say anything back to them. This is why I hate working in retail. Well, it's one of the many reasons that I hate working in retail. But, yeah, um... I have, uh, you know, customers, uh, they'll even try to f fill up dead air with small talk. They'll be like, uh, you know, they'll start talking about the weather or, or some, some crap. They're just like, it's hot outside today, isn't it? I hate small talk. I really, really do. I, I prefer to think of myself as being more efficient in speaking. I, I remain quiet a lot. And my philosophy is 
if I don't have anything worth saying, I don't say it. But apparently there are a lot of... Misha! Oh, Misha just ran in here. Misha, what is it? Hang on. <laughs> She's kind of a bad boy. I saw him with a lizard in his mouth. And part of the lizard's tail might be missing too, I'm not sure. But the lizard was able to walk away and I've distracted Mishu from him. So now I'll let Mishu go and see what happens. And wow, do I have cat hair all over my shirt. Um, Mishu's probably checking up on where the lizard is. <laughs> yeah, he had the lizard right in his mouth. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, the lesson here, customers, keep stuff to yourself. Do not try to draw cashiers or other employees into conversations that really have nothing to do with retail just, just don't okay and uh, that's all that I have to say about that it's uh, 137 and that's it thanks for watching